unit analysis. To change one unit of measure to another, you can use rates that are equal to one, since 60 minutes is equal to one hour, both one hour over 60 minutes and 60 minutes over one hour equal to one. You can use 60 minutes over one hour as a conversion factor to change hours into minutes and one hour over 60 minutes to change minutes into hours. We're getting into a special rate or actually unit analysis which is a special part of rates and it's really learning how to keep track of the units correctly. Here we want to convert 3.5 hours into minutes. In the notes up here, to change hours into minutes, it tells us this. You can use 60 minutes over one hour as a conversion factor to change hours into minutes. The way I like to think about it is since I'm starting with hours, I want the hours to divide out. So I want the hours to be in the denominator. And I want the minutes to be in the numerator. And 60 minutes are equal to one hour. So what happens here is when we multiply, now watch this, follow this, probably not used to this. When we multiply, we get 3.5 times 60, which gives 210. And that's going to give us hours times minutes over one hour. Now what happens? The hours can divide out leaving us with 210 minutes. That's how we convert 3.5 hours into minutes using unit analysis. Now that's a pretty simple unit conversion. And here's a test question on unit conversion. Example 3TA converting rates. Write the conversion factor for minutes to seconds Use the factor to convert 45 minutes into seconds. And here's how I would solve this problem. I write down what I'm starting with, 45 minutes. Then I want to multiply that by a fraction, the conversion factor, if you will, and I want to change it into seconds. So I put the seconds in the numerator, and I want to convert minutes into seconds, so I put minutes in the denominator. Then I need to, to think for a second, some basic knowledge, how many seconds are in one minute, 60 seconds are in one minute. Now here's a shortcut way compared to the last example. The minutes are going to divide out. We can cancel them or we can divide them out right there using the idea of cross-canceling. And then we simply multiply 45 times 60, which gives 2,700. Or 2,700 seconds in 45 minutes. Now to answer the, fir the first part of this, to write the conversion factor, I wrote the conversion factor right here. So the conversion factor was 60 seconds to one minute, and we used that factor to convert 45 minutes into 2,700 seconds. Last problem. Find the fastest record speed for an eastern gray kangaroo is 40 miles per hour. What is the kangaroo's speed in feet per second? So we want to change miles per hour into feet per second. So the way I start this is I'll write down 40, and that's miles. That would be over hours. And I ultimately want to change miles into feet. The conversion factor for miles into feet, I'm going to tell you right now, is first I'll put the feet in the numerator and the miles in the denominator because the miles are going to divide out. Now the conversion factor for that is 5,820 feet in one mile. So I got my miles converted into feet, so now I need to change my hours into seconds. That's going to take two steps to change hours into seconds. First I've got to change hours into minutes, and then minutes into seconds. So I want to change the hours. Now hours is in the denominator here, so I have to write it in the numerator, and I've got to change that to minutes. Now the hours can divide out, and in one hour, there are 60 minutes. I don't want minutes, I want seconds. So I convert the minutes now into seconds. Minutes will go in the numerator, and the seconds will go in the denominator. The minutes will divide out, and the conversion factor 
for minutes into seconds is there's one minute and 60 seconds. So now my units are straight. I have feet over seconds. Now I just need to multiply 40 times 5,820, which gives 232,800, 232,800, and that's going to be feet over 1 times 1 times 60 times 60, which is 60 times 60, which is 60 squared, which is 3,600, and that'd be 3,600 seconds. I divide this or reduce this by the factor of 3,600. In essence, then I divide 2,000 or 232,800 by 3,600 to give approximately, actually we can give exactly, it's a repeating decimal, 64.6, and that 6 repeats feet per second. So in one second, this kangaroo moves 64 or almost 65 feet. This has been Mr. Polarski on rates and ratios. Feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.